Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to solve the low memory error that you may get when you're running Sony Vegas Movie Studio 10 and earlier versions. Now, you'll generally run into this problem if you're editing MP4 or MOV video files and you have some large photos on your project. And you'll either run into it when you're editing or when you try to render, and an error will appear on the screen that says low memory error, and the program crashes. Now, if you want to avoid that, it's pretty easy to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing you'll want to do is to go to ntcore.com and download the CFF Explorer Suite. Now, this is a free program, and once you get to the website, you can just click the download link here and download it to your computer. And once you download it, you'll want to install it and then run it as administrator. And when you run it, it'll look like this. To run it, you click File, and then you click Open. What you'll want to open will be the Sony Vegas Movie Studio Program File. If you have an older version of Windows, it'll be found in the Program Files folder. If you've got Windows 7, 64, it'll be in the Program Files x86. And that's where we're going to look for it on my computer. So we click that, and then we'll go down to the Sony folder and click that. And we're looking for Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 10. We click that. And then we're going to scroll down the file list looking for the program file itself. The program file we're going to change is Vegas Movie Studio PE100-EXE. Make sure that you're changing the EXE file. Just click on that. Now after you've opened Vegas Movie Studio PE100.EXE file, you want to come down to the left side and click NT Headers. And on the NT Headers you want to click File Header. And on the File Header option, Come over here where it says click here and click there. And on the characteristics window, the only thing you want to change is this field right here that says app can handle greater than 2 gigabyte address space. Now if that is checked, then leave it alone and don't uncheck it. But if it's not checked, put a check there. If you have more than 2 gigabytes of memory on your computer, it will be able to access some of that memory. And then once you do that, just click OK and then click File and then Close. It'll ask you, do you want to save the changes? And you will. Now, if you have Vegas Movie Studio open, you're not going to be able to do this. You're not going to be able to save the changes. So be sure you close Vegas Movie Studio before you start this process. Then click Yes, and then overwrite the original file. And then when you're done, you can go back and start Sony Vegas Movie Studio. And that should resolve your low memory error problems. And if it doesn't resolve your low memory error problems, the other option is to go to Options and Preferences. And on the Preferences screen, click the Video tab. And on the Video tab, you see where it says Dynamic RAM Preview. Now, if this number is set too high, it will allocate memory away from the program and it won't be able to access all the memory available. So if you've got this set at, say, 750 or 1024 meg, you may be starving the program out of memory. So I'll set this lower if the first thing doesn't fix your low memory error problem. Anyway, using CFF Explorer to change this setting so that the app can handle greater than 2 gigabyte address space will almost always solve the low memory error problem in Sony Vegas Movie Studio. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more like this at www.bmyers.com. And you can find a whole lot more tips like this in my 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Vegas Movie Studio, which is now available at my website as well as at Amazon.com.